Assembly of the Solite Bed Range. No tools are necessary for the assembly of the Solite Laser 4. Clear the area intended for the bed of any obstacles and ensure the surface is level. Before attempting to assemble the bed, remove and read the instructions. Apply the brakes to the casters. Remove the lock pins from the transport stand that hold the foot end section in place and loosen but do not remove the hand wheels. The pins are held in place with a clip and plastic bush. You will require these parts later on in the assembly process, so keep them nearby. Lift the foot end section off the base and lean it against a wall or lie it flat on the floor. Lift the head end section off the frame. Move the head and footboards into position. Then push down the brakes on the head end. Begin to remove the lock pins from one end of the stand. To release one half of the frame, tip it backwards so the ends come apart. Move the foot end away from the head end and lie it on the floor, leaving enough room to maneuver between the two pieces. Remove the lock pins from the head or footboard that has the transport stand still attached. Remove the stand parts from the bed end and put in a safe place. The stand will be needed for disassembly and transporting the bed at a later date. Align the head end section with one of the head and footboards. Again, this can be either against a wall or from flat on the floor. Make sure the spigots are pointing away from the bed end. Carefully lift the mattress platform section and lower onto the hooks onto the headboard. Push down to make sure they are firmly connected. Reinsert the lock pins that were previously removed. The pins are secured by a plastic bush. This is placed over the pin and a clip is pushed through the hole in the pin itself. The bed must never be used with the lock pins missing. Repeat these steps to attach the other half of the mattress platform. We are now ready to join the ends of the bed together. Next, release the brakes on all the casters. Lift both ends of the mattress platform, aligning the metal connectors into the open tube ends. Then pull the two sections firmly together. At this point, you must secure the bed sections with lock pins. Secure by pushing the lock pins back through the holes in the side of the mattress platform. Placing the plastic bush over the pin and then pushing the clip through the hole in the pin. Then tighten the hand wheels to make sure the bed is rigid. The actuators and the handset now need to be plugged into the control box. Plug them into the corresponding ports highlighted by the graphic next to each one. Ensure the plugs are pushed firmly into the correct sockets making sure they are the right way around. Once all the leads have been connected, they must be secured by attaching the anti-removal clip. This is supplied in the plastic wallet with the handset and written instructions. Finally, before operation, Maneuver the bed into position and ensure the brakes are down. Next, remove the orange retaining straps from the rising backrest and knee brake frames. Operating the bed with these straps in place will damage the bed. 
The bed can now be plugged in and is ready for operation. Disassembly. To disassemble the bed, follow the assembly instructions in reverse. Firstly, make sure the head and footrest are fully flattened and that the bed is in its lowest position. Reattach the orange retaining straps to the two sections of the mattress platform. Next, ensure the anti-removal clip is removed from the control box. The clip is removed by pressing on the locating barbs. The clip will now pull away. Before separating the sections of the mattress platform, detach the cables and remove the actuator leads from the control box. Remove the lock pins holding the mattress platform together and loosen the hand wheels. Now, pull the two sections of the bed apart. Then lift the platform sections off the head and foot end, lean against a wall free of obstruction or place flat on the floor. Fit the two transport stands to one of the head and foot ends, ensuring that the lock pins are inserted. Align the remaining board with the open end of the transport stands and hook into place. Again, make sure that the lock pins have been inserted and are held in place with the plastic bush and clip. Always make sure the lock pins have been reinserted. Position the mattress platform sections onto the stand and reinsert the lock pins. Operation. The Solite laser bed is supplied with an easy to use handset. Each bed movement is illustrated by an image and description. To raise or lower each bed part, depress the corresponding button until the desired angle is reached.
battery backup and lockable handset. The Solite laser bed is now available with a battery backup. This backup facility will enable a limited amount of bed movements should there be a mains failure. It is fitted onto the knee brake actuator under the bed. The Solite laser also comes with a lockable handset. It is operated with a blue disc-shaped key. Green indicates the handset is unlocked, orange indicates locked. This allows the carer to limit any or all of the handset's functions. Accessories. The Solite laser bed comes with a range of accessories. There are various side rail options. A lifting pole and transfusion pole are also available. The length of the Solite Laser 4 is also extendable by attaching a bed extension. To assemble the bed extension, lay the foot end flat on the floor or against a stable wall. Lower the bed extension onto the hooks on the foot end frame. Once the extension has been assembled, lock it into place by inserting the lock pins through the frame. The foot end can now be attached to the mattress platform. The bed extension must never be used with the lock pins missing. Service and maintenance. The Solite bed range comes with an antibacterial additive incorporated into the powder coated metalwork. BioCoat inhibits the growth of bacteria on the surface of the bed frame. Always disconnect the bed from the mains before cleaning. BioCoat is no substitute for keeping the bed clean at regular intervals. Routine cleaning for infection control must be carried out in accordance with your local infection control policy. Surfaces should be wiped down with a soft cloth. Some Solite beds do not have battery backup. In the event of a power failure, it is necessary to remove the actuators to flatten the mattress platform. Each actuator is connected to the frame by two steel pins. Remove the pins whilst supporting the weight of the frame. The backrest and the knee brake can then be lowered into the flattened positions. The Solite bed has been designed to require very little maintenance. If the bed is not performing as it should, then please contact your supplier for assistance. Only approved Sid Hill repair personnel should carry out repairs or service. At the back of the user instructions booklet is a full spares list and detailed drawing views. If a fault does occur, then please try the following suggestions before calling the supplier, as they may help. Check that the bed is free of any obstructions. Check that the maximum load has not been exceeded. Check that the bed has not reached its maximum or minimum height. Check that the actuators, mains lead and handset are plugged fully into the control box and show no visible signs of damage.